Richard Southern here in the 680 Newsroom. Trouble is brewing at the second cup. Executives are jumping ship from the now struggling Canadian coffee purveyor. Earlier this week, the Second Cup CEO announced her abrupt departure just three years after the former Holt Renfrew executive was brought in to lead a turnaround. The company said Alex Box's departure was effective immediately. Then today, the chief financial officer said she too was leaving the company. She'll be gone as of the end of June. The Sacking Cup has struggled. It's felt the competitive pressures of the coffee wars. It's taken a lot of market share away from the Sacking Cup. You see, as Tim's and Starbucks and McDonald's battle it out for coffee supremacy, Starbucks has been left a little bit behind. The company said today first quarter corporate revenue was down nearly 20%. Here's some uh, food news. Sushi Company, one of the biggest in Canada, is about to go public on Bay Street. Uh, Canada's largest sushi company, Bento Sushi, working with uh, banks to explore an initial public offering, looking to raise $100 million. Bento Sushi is actually a real Toronto success story. It started here downtown back in 1996 as a small takeout shop. It now has 450 locations across Canada and the U.S., it sells in grocery stores as well, and it sells 15 million pieces of sushi every year. So Bento Sushi eyeing an IPO, according to Bloomberg News. Got to give you the latest here today on Home Capital Group, that struggling Canadian subprime mortgage lender. A lot of people watching that because it could trigger kind of a domino effect in the housing market, potentially. Uh, home Capital out with earnings last night. Uh, of course, they were a bit lower, but the company said it had, has doubts about its ability to continue as a growing concern because it's hemorrhaging cash, has only about $128 million left in its savings accounts. That's the money it uses to fund its mortgage business. Home Capital says it's planning to sell more loan portfolios to pay down a $2 billion emergency credit line. The board of directors says the company is exploring a number of strategic options, but says it's not going to rush itself into a full-blown sale. The stock was sharply lower today. Mother's Day coming up this weekend, and mom's probably hoping for a nice relaxing day on Sunday. But, you know, retailers, they're gearing up for one of their busiest days of the year. Would you believe that Mother's Day is the second busiest day of the year for retail after Christmas? And it comes uh, just ahead of Father's Day. Americans shelling out just over 21 billion. Here in Canada, we're expected to spend 492 million on gifts for mom. It's about $50 a gift. It is by far the busiest day of the year for restaurants. 58% of moms going out for dinner on Sunday, 24% going out for brunch. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, says Mother's Day is its busiest day of the year. It usually sees sales pop about 40%. And Tim Horton's trying to cash in on the holiday as well. Look at what Tim's is selling for Mother's Day. It's a Timbit Donut Bouquet for Mom. Yes, 24 Timbits, tastefully arranged in a statement. Tim Horton says, quote, we believe that all mothers deserve a gift that is as sweet as they are. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.